welcome the head of the mini brand, Sebastian Mackensen. Thank you, Sarah. It really looks like you enjoyed that ride in the new mini John Cooper Works Club, and didn't you? <laughs> I really enjoyed it. It was lots of fun. Well, of course, I was expecting pure sportiness, but the ride in the mini John Cooper Works Club that was also very comfortable. Indeed, we have done definitely a great job on the suspensions. Of course, not every John Cooper Works customer drives on the racetrack all the time, but they all love exceptional things. Even on a day-to-day -day basis, the power of John Cooper Works is a real addition to your driving, and that combined with the quality and premiumness of a vehicle like this Mini Clubman. Sebastian, could you please give us some more details? Sure. The John Cooper Works heritage goes back really a long way, almost to the beginnings of our brand. And recently we have seen huge success for the demand of our other three John Cooper Works models. The three door, the countryman and most recently the mini convertible. And that's why I'm so excited that we now bring all of this into the John Cooper Works and into the premium compact segment with the mini clubman. Now, Take, for example, the Sport chassis, the Brembo Sports brakes, all of that obviously needed for the great drivability. Optically, the specially designed rims are particularly eye-catching, as well as the accents in chili red, like the grill blades and the mini signature side scuttles. Inside, you'll recognize John Cooper Works sport seats and stainless steel pedals. And to finish a completely new feature in the Mini, and this John Cooper works, is it's the first one with touchscreen. Well, let me ask you something else. The world we live in is changing so fast. Urbanization, the digital age, and so on. What does that mean for a brand like Mini? First of all, it means that there are great times ahead for the Mini brand, because Mini is the perfect fit for the urban and modern environment. Take the Clubman. It combines driving comfort and dynamic performance with everyday drivability. It also provides a surprising amount of variable space. And for the Mini brand to remain successful, we must be more in tune with the times than any other brand. These days, people are focusing on the essential, on experiences they have with a brand and a product, and it's more about the purpose of things and about relevance. And how successful is this concept? 216 is actually going very well for the Mini brand. So far, we have sold over 250,000 Minis. And for the full year, we will achieve our best sales globally. Glo uh, best sales ever, globally and also here in France. Now, the new Mini convertible, especially this vehicle and the Mini Clubman, are the main growth drivers. Well, and one last thing, Sebastian. When can I get my hands of these beauties? And what are these beauties? Sarah, if you sign your name on the dotted line today, we will deliver it in December. That sounds good. Thank you, Sebastian. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back on stage Dr. Ian Roberts. So ladies and gentlemen, as Sebastian has just shown us, dynamic driving is in our blood at the BMW Group. And nowhere more so than with the BMW brand. At BMW M, to stand here in Paris, you'll see some truly magnificent vehicles. I love them all, from the M2 right up to the X6M. At BMW, our whole range of benefits from the innovative and groundbreaking technologies we develop at the two bookends, BMW i and BMW M, all of which, with sheer driving pleasure, always sharply in our focus. And we're constantly evolving the brand's offering to suit the changing requirements of our customers. We've successfully expanded our range in the compact segment and in the fast-growing SUV segment, attracting many, many more customers as we do so. Our customer demand continues to grow in both these segments. That's why we've decided to introduce a new X model. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is, the world premiere of the BMW Concept X2.
The concept X2 has shown its distinct character within the BMW X family. It's the sports activity coupe in a compact class, underlining BMW's leading position as the creator of the sports activity vehicle. This is our segment. We've driven it from the start. It is a vehicle clearly made for the urban adventure. And I'm delighted to announce that the X2 will come early in 2018. Now, I'd like to hand over to BMW's Head of Design for BMW, Kareem Habib. We'll tell you a little bit more about the BMW Concept X2. Thank you, Yuri. Mesdames et Messieurs, bonjour. C'est un privilège pour moi de vous présenter aujourd'hui le nouveau BMW Concept X2. As Ian Robertson just mentioned, with this vehicle, BMW is entering a new segment. And with every new segment comes a bandwidth of new design possibilities. In the case of the BMW Concept X2, it combines a fast-moving form language of a compact coupe with the strong solid volumes and technical line work of an X model. For us, the BMW Concept X2 is a sporty, active, and muscular vehicle, yet it exudes relaxed and quiet confidence. It was important for us to recognize its contrasting identity from every perspective. Its classical two-box proportions and large wheels underscore the X family character. Generous, clean volumes growing from the front towards the rear give the vehicle its power, solidity, and presence. Higher up, the volumes begin to taper, creating a strong, powerful shoulder. The elongated roofline, enclosed window graphics, and forward-leaning C-pillar lend the vehicle its coupe-like silhouette. The front end of the BMW Concept X2 also balances dynamic elements with robust geometrical graphics. Clearly defined volumes and precise edges combine to shape the overall appearance, which, in our opinion, is both striking and athletic in equal measures. The familiar trapezoidal form of the kidney grille in the center of the front end is, for the first time, wider at the base than it is on top, lending the vehicle a distinctive and clearly recognizable fascia. The hallmark BMW headlights are now very slim and focused, as well as more technical and modern in their interpretation. In addition, a blue X at the center of the light sources showcases the laser light technology. At the rear, we see the same sharply defined technical graphics in the tail lamps. The characteristic L shape is emphasized here as a three-dimensional sculpture, protruding distinctively from the surface of the vehicle body. Horizontal elements in the vehicle body, body and strong shoulder line accentuate the broad, powerful, and confident stance of the vehicle. Ladies and gentlemen, for us, the BMW Concept X2 is a compact, sporty vehicle with a strong, distinctive character. A vehicle which gives us new and promising opportunities, not only for BMW design, but also for the brand BMW. Thank you, and merci for your attention. Thanks, Chris. Now, I'm very confident that the BMW X2 will bring a big success when it hits the streets in the spring of 2018. Now, ladies and gentlemen, mobility as we know it is set to change more in the next decade than it has in the past 100 years. This is not a cliche. It is going to be a fact. And over the past 100 years, innovation has consistently been one of the main factors in the BMW Group's success. And as we enter a new and exciting era, we are intent on shaping the future of premium individual mobility and services. And how do we see the future of urban mobility in the BMW Group? Quite simple. Tailored to individual customers' needs. From two-wheelers right up to the luxury class, mobility will remain an emotional and enjoyable experience. 
It's great to be with you in Paris. Thank you very much for spending some time with us. Stefan, Sebastian, Kareem, please come back on stage. Thank you, Robertson. This was the BMW Group Press Conference. Thank you very much.